up, fam? It's Richie from Social Rapunzel here, uh, coming at you with 25 facts on how to glue your hand to your cat so you can never stop petting him. And welcome to Goths and Crafts. Today, we're going to be looking at a channel called Five Minute Crafts. They have 40 million subscribers. They are massive. <laughs> they are known for their crazy clickbaitable thumbnails, life hacks, and various arts and crafts projects that anyone can do at home with various items that I have in front of me. And guess what? They get more views than Logan and Jake Paul combined. And recently I've noticed this trend of YouTubers taking these videos, which often are 15 to 20 minutes long. They're kind of just compilations from Facebook and Instagram, and they put them all together and put them on YouTube to get anywhere from one to 70 million views. And YouTubers like Jarvis Johnson and my good friend Robbie Epic Sauce have been trying out said crafts with uh, varying results and I'd like to jump on this bandwagon. And the video I have chosen is 25 unbelievable, whoa. Life hacks. Honestly, I really like this one because it had a lot of crafts involving lighters and fire and you, you know me. And while most of these little stunts are pretty much just internet fodder, they're just here essentially to go viral for people just passing by, which they do. But to the slightly more observant viewer or subscriber, you notice that a lot of these crafts are not very useful. They're kind of silly, they, re they require extra steps, they require extra tools and equipment that you may not even have around your house. And this is going to highlight that. So let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, this one involves a lighter and a tooth, okay. Toothbrush, and we're gonna make a cleaning utensil. So apparently for this craft you're gonna need a toothbrush, a brand new toothbrush for, for the extra super clean effect on your on your toilets. Okay, so I have my spiffy pink lighter and we're just we're just gonna just gonna light it up here, man. What's the oh wow, okay that's burning. I feel like this room should be better ventilated for this. It's turning black! The one in the video didn't turn black. Okay, that's definitely catching on fire. That's cool. Love it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you can't see it, but it's smoldering. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do a little more. <laughs> it just it just caught on fire. Cool. They didn't show that in the video. We got this bad boy as I inhale all these plastic fumes. Um, it's bubbling. It's uh oh god. Okay, okay. It's it's still melting. This doesn't seem like a very effective cleaning utensil to me. Um, we'll we'll come back to it when it's when it's dry. Next. Oh, we have a bag. We have party bag of chips. All right. I love how this craft insinuates that you have friends or people to share the food with because like I could definitely crush a party bag of chips by myself. So for this specifically, I bought smart food, white cheddar. This is the good stuff. It's delicious, better than any stupid tortilla chips. What they were saying is that it's easier access to, instead of getting a bowl like a civilized human, you could just cut it in the center and, and expose all the, all the, all the goodness. Let's, let's begin. I just, I had scissors. Um, I guess let's use the exacto knife instead. That's more dramatic. Delicious. Oh, it went through so easy. So. Just a little hole like that. Just a little hole, and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna gently, yeah. And you just, you just, just like that, and okay, yeah. So that's pretty much the craft for this one. Um, well, the popcorn doesn't taste any different, but the problem with this one is that I can't reseal this, and that's kind of the point of a chip bag is to be able to reseal and um well looks like I'm gonna have to eat the whole thing. Next Okay. Okay. I can Oh there's more steps to this one. 
Got it. Okay. Oh, he's gonna he's cleaning it up. That's good. It's a blowtorch. Okay. Oh, it's a makeshift glue gun. This what could possibly go wrong here? Why would you glue together? Two pencil sharpeners. I don't understand. So unlike them, I am not a degenerate, and I'm using vanilla Coke, obviously, not Pepsi, because it's civilized. So it said to start off by just folding it kind of together into like a funnel sort of thing. Okay, a little teeny little hole there. All right, we got this. Okay, that's probably too large, but we'll make it work. All right, I have my pink duct tape. Duct tape, duct tape. Okay, hopefully this doesn't catch on fire, like the toothbrush. Oh man. As you can see, I'm a crafts master. All right, I think I think that actually looks pretty good. Okay, just kidding, it needs to be a little further up. I, I messed it up. That's fine, mistakes are okay. We're human, right? We're human! Well, this doesn't have the potential to go horribly wrong now, does it? All right, I'm just gonna just gonna wait a little longer. See if it see if it does it. It doesn't look like the glue is like well, it's not melting. The glue is literally burning. Okay, oh, we're getting some action here. Oh, oh, we got some glue. Oh man, hacks. It kind of works. Look, there's glue. All right, next. Okay. Oh, okay. I get to put the exacto knife. The bigger question is why would you want to cut a bottle like that? <sighs> All right. Ugh. Feels like a Billie Eilish music video. Nah. Okay, so apparently we're gonna take this lighter, we're gonna strap an exacto knife blade to it, it's gonna heat it up, and we're gonna cut some stuff. Sounds easy enough, right? We have our bottle. That won't stay still. Um, and I have a bunch of X-Acto knife blades. Now I know they hot glued it to the lighter that time. Um, we're not that pro and I only have so many lighters so we're just gonna tape it. We're just, we're just gonna finagle, it's fine. It's the same thing, it's fine. Said knife, you bring it probably, probably protruding a little bit. I would, I would think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I bet the reason why they glued it is because of science and that this is going to melt the tape right off. But you know what? We'll see. I just want to watch the world burn anyway. <laughs> Knives. Okay, so I guess just tilt it and see what happens. Yeah. Is that enough? That could be enough. Let's, let's see if, how much damage it does. Okay, it is not, this is not hot enough. Okay, so you probably have to leave it on for a lot longer. Oh man, that is satisfying. I didn't tape it down well enough, but just, just, oh man. Spicy. Okay, so now I understand why they use the glue because it's, it's fallen off, but I think I've proved my point here. It cut right through, which of course it did. It's hot metal against plastic. Next! My ears. Uh, okay, we have like a paper cup, which I don't think I have. Oh, I've seen people do this one so many times. Okay, so this is just basic audio acoustics. If you block the sound, like, and, and try and narrow it to come towards you, it will appear as louder. Um, so in theory, this should work. It's just not so practical putting stuff all over the face of your laptop. Let's just cut open this bad boy. Sorry, Mr. Coca-Cola. Oh. Arts and crafts and arts and crafts and arts and crafts! Wow, I'm I'm an artist. Oh jeez, okay, got this. Go the other way. Don't need that. And down here. It's so satisfying. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Got that. Safety first. I guess we're just gonna kind of cut it, cut it in half. We have these little, these little cute little things um, that are supposed to deflect sound. Now, 
I feel like you have to know where the speakers are on your laptop. Here and right here. That's where the speakers are. Okay, so this is without the speakers. I know you can't tell, but this is for me. And uh, this is this is with. Okay, there's a very minimal difference, but you can you can hear it a little bit. I don't know. Basic acoustics, like I said. Personally, I feel like putting something over your speakers like that doesn't provide a noticeable enough difference and uh, also makes your computer just look really dumb. Not that it matters. We're not trying to impress anyone here. Am I right? Onward and upwards. Let's 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 keep going. Oh man, this is this is the granddaddy of them all. This one's my favorite. <laughs> oh! All right, so we're gonna make a flamethrower. Not quite the flamethrower I have, more more kind of uh, in line to the Elon Musk flamethrower, which is technically not a flamethrower. Um, so I've got my uh, my WD-40 here. Just a little, little itty bitty can. We're not trying to die. I mean, maybe later, but not for this video. And what we need to do, so we're, I think I'm gonna repurpose this, uh, this glue gun again. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Since I didn't, um, I didn't buy a glue gun for this, for this video. So we're just gonna, we're gonna use one of our crafts to make another craft. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, we did it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man. All right. Just put a little bit on there. Just enough for it to not explode in my face. Cool. Got it? Great. All right, we good. We lit! Ah, shit. Yay! I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to dry, and we're gonna try something else while we, uh, while we patiently wait for that. <laughs> it involves tennis balls! Wonderful! Incredibly pleasant! <laughs> so we're, we're taping some balls together, huh? Okay, we're ta ta taping some balls together. Oh, uh, oh, so we're gonna, we're gonna lean on it like that. Okay. That's, yep. That, re, they just, they're telling me how I should feel and I don't like that. So I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you how to tape two balls together. It's more along the lines of like, does this, ah! <laughs> okay, so we take the tennis balls. That's not as bouncy as I thought it was gonna be. We take the duct tape. Yeah. And we tape them together. Arts and crafts, go, go, goths and crafts. Wrap it around. Get those balls nice and tight. This joke isn't getting old. Roll them up a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, mine's a little more colorful, but it'll work. So, now I don't actually have visible legs, but let's just, I'm, I'm curious. I don't feel very relaxed. In fact, if anything, I feel very uncomfortable right now. Okay, I'll stop. All right, well, besides looking like a swollen pair of testicles, um, it's not, not a very good, not a very good arts and crafts life hack. I would, I would not recommend this. Moving on! Ooh, I just scared Scorn. <laughs> if I light one thing on fire in this room, it, I'm, I'm pretty much, uh, if you are, if you thought I was a burnt ass turkey dinner now, you, you, I would be just, just super, super crispy after that. Ah yes, the uh, the dr you can't open it. It's too difficult. It's too is is this is this where I make a sexist remark? No, all right. You know I could probably open this pretty easily, but why why do that when I when I could put some duct tape on it and do all the difficult work for me? And take some of this good old fashioned pink duct tape. I feel like this is an unopened. Uh, jar of, of, of Prego three cheese spaghetti sauce, by the way, in case, in case you were wondering. Okay, so they just kind of like took it, they just kind of like took it around the rim. I don't know. Oh, it sticks pretty well though. Around the rim, kind of bunch it up like I saw them do it. Okay, so they did it about halfway and then you just kind of like tug on it. <laughs> Why did you work? This is a metaphor for everything in my life! Oh! Oh, it's moving! Oh, I did! 
Ah! Maybe I shouldn't give up on my life after all. This is beautiful. All right, well, there you have it. Those are a handful, a bushel, if you will, of the 25 unbelievable life hacks from 5 Minute Crafts. Uh, they, thanks to them for letting me use their video. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. If this video gets past 6,000 views, I will uh, renounce all my belongings to my cat and move to Siberia for the rest of my remaining years. So 6,000 6, views. And likes! Let's do 6,000 views and likes! Is ever, yeah, anyway. And also, if you want to help me help support this channel, if you want more of these, uh, I do have a merch store, I make lots of music, so you can check that out on this channel. And, um, yeah, I hope you have a, hope you have a wonderful day. Stay sad, but not too sad. I am sorry. Mwah. Woo! Yay.